up guys i'm just in the park here hanging out next to my airbnb it's around 9 a.m in brisbane time i'm gonna be driving up to the strawberry farm later on in the day my favorite way to travel is to visit a city and just drive to the outbacks or just go to a park and just relax i'm just gonna explore a little bit and that's where i intend to go the weather is really really good here right now i'm just gonna relax and clear my mind even though i'm not stress or anything like that but yeah but it's nice to just relax have a cup of coffee and then just do nothing yeah that's what i'm gonna do and see you again It's really breezy and windy here and it's not really that hot even though there's no clouds in the sky but you know, it's just it's quite chilly here and I'm just gonna hang out around here for a bit it's um, around one hour drive from Brisbane towards Sunshine Coast which is my next destination and this farm is called Rollins farm it's a strawberry farm and you can pick your own fruit here and yeah so I've just been driving around, exploring Gold Coast, exploring Brisbane and now I'm going to explore Sunshine Coast area and yeah, it's only day two. I'm just exploring Glasshouse Mountain here right now. And it's been quite a drive from the strawberry farm to the Glasshouse Mountain. But yeah, I'm just gonna trek for a while and explore this area. And the sun's directly on my face right now. I have my sunscreen on. I realized this from my recent travels to Australia. The sun is really, really bad. So I'm heading that way. So I have been trekking for a bit not that much just around maybe like 200 or 300 meters down the trekking area it's getting really cold here actually in the middle of the day it's currently around 12 i guess in the afternoon i'm not gonna go down any further because i have other places that i, I want to go originally my plan was to drive up to Cairns in 10 days but i guess i have to come back and do that again i rather take the time to explore different areas than just rushing out somewhere. I've been on trips before whereby everyone's rushing and there's nothing really much to see. So this time around, I've decided to like explore one place for a certain number of days and then move on. For this round of the trip, I'm gonna explore Gold Coast and Brisbane area and maybe come back in the future and do Canes. So I've just parked here at Malini Dairies trying to see the cow farm or the milk farm I guess the cow farm that's where milk come from I mean the milk that we drink every single day almost So just hanging out here at Malini farm they have their function here and I've just joined them with their function and yeah got myself this and I'm gonna try it for the first time they made it in they made it at their factory just behind me it's their factory where they produce all the milk I'm gonna try it not bad not bad at all So I was driving halfway towards Gardner's Fall and chanced upon this wonderful roadside view. So 
What's up guys? It's the fourth day here in Brisbane, Queensland, Australia and it's been an amazing, amazing trip so far and I'm just chilling outside my Airbnb right now. I'm gonna be doing the Brisbane to Toowoomba scenic drive soon today and not sure how that's gonna turn out but I'm definitely gonna take you guys along with me and I'm gonna start filming more. I didn't film anything yesterday because I was out settling my private and personal stuff. That's part of the reason why I'm here in Brisbane to begin with. So the adventures will continue again today. So I would like to take this moment to tell you guys about my trip so far. So whenever I travel, I like to visit the mountainous area, the outbacks area of any country that I've been to. I always make the effort to drive or to visit the outback at all costs, at all expense. And yep, so that's what I've been doing on all my trips to Australia so far. So yeah, it's been nice talking to you. I'm currently at Springfield right now. It's such an amazing place. That's one of the things that I like to do. I like to explore and do all this kind of road trip stuff. I don't normally go for the attractions, like the main attractions, like especially in Queensland, you have the Dream World, you have the Warner Brothers movie theater, if I'm not wrong, and all these roller coasters or theme park. And I'm not really into those kind of stuff. Whenever I travel, I always like to visit the outback places whereby it's so away from the attraction and the beaches. And yeah, don't get me wrong, I do visit the the beaches as well, Surfers Paradise especially, and whereby it's a famous beach around the world. Yeah, but I prefer to be in the outbacks, more quiet and peaceful and more serene. And one more thing is that it's always nice to be driving around the mountainous region because you'll be exposed to these amazing, amazing, wonderful scenic views around you. It's a unique experience. You're in the middle of the mountain and everywhere you look, it's so beautiful, it's nature. And yeah, I'm a nature person. I enjoy being around nature. Yeah, so I can't wait for more adventure and I'll definitely be taking you guys along with me. So stick around and talk to you soon. What's up guys? I'm at Lake Wyvernhoe or Wyvernhoe, I'm not sure how it's pronounced. It's been a wonderful drive from Springfield Lake to Lake Wyvernhoe. It's getting foggy around here at the moment and I've just drove on the Wyvernhoe Dam and now I'm going upwards towards Toowoomba. Yeah, I'm just gonna have my lunch here at the lake, next to the lake and yeah. It's foggy, it's wonderful, it's 18 degrees Celsius right now. And yeah, the lake's behind me. Mm -hmm. 